Step one, wake up early, gon' rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, think real hard about what you wanna be. Step four, fuck everybody, just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So today we are going to crochet this very cute little cat keychain or pendant. The materials are listed at the beginning of the video. So get your materials ready and let's get started. Okay, we're going to start by doing a chain 11. So we'll do chain 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. And then starting in the second chain from the hook, we'll do, uh, we'll increase in the first chain. So skip this chain and starting here, we'll increase. And then we'll do single crochets in the next eight chains. So single crochet one, two, three, four. Six, seven, and eight. Okay, so after we do uh, uh, eight single crochets in the last chain, we'll increase. So now we have a total of 12 stitches. When we get to the end, we'll do a chain one and turn. Okay, now we'll do single crochets all the way through. So we'll have a total of 12 stitches. So we'll continue starting from the very end. Do single crochet. Single crochet. And continue doing single crochets all the way to the end. Okay, so when you get to the end, we'll do a chain one and turn. Now, in the third row, we are going to start by increasing in the first stitch. So, we'll increase. And then we'll continue and do 10 single crochets. So continue and do single crochet, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine ten so when we get to the end we'll increase the last stitch so increase and then do a chain one and turn okay so now for the next five rounds which is from round four until round eight we are going to do single crochets all the way in each round for a total of uh, 14 stitches in each round. So continue doing single crochets. All the way until you get to the 8th 
round and then we'll start the ninth round together and always remember to do a chain one before you turn to the other round okay so when we get to the eighth round this is how our work looks like so at the end of row eight we are going to do a chain one and turn so now in the ninth round we are going to start by decreasing And then we'll do 10 single crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And then we'll decrease again at the end. And then we'll do a chain one and turn. Okay, so now we have a total of 12 stitches. So now in the 10th round, we are going to do single crochets all the way to the end for a total of 12 stitches. So continue and do single crochets all the way until you get to the end okay so at the end we are going to do chain one and turn so now in the 11th round we are going to start by decreasing so we'll decrease and then we'll do eight single crochets so one two three four five six seven and eight and then we'll decrease at the end then we'll do a chain one and turn okay so now in the 12th round we are going to start again by decreasing and then we'll do six single crochets so one two three four five and six and then we'll decrease again at the end then do chain one and turn so now in the 13th round, we are going to do single crochets all the way to the end for a total of 8 stitches. So continue and do single crochets. All through to the end. Okay, so when you get to the end, we'll do a chain 1 and turn. Okay. So now in the 14th round we are going to start by decreasing and then we'll do four single crochets so one two three four and then again decrease at the end then do chain one and turn Okay, so after we turn in the uh, in the fifteenth round, we are going to do six single crochets, so all the way to the end. So single crochet, When you get to the end we'll do chain one and turn so now in the 16th round we are going to start by increasing so we'll increase and then do four single crochets so one two three four 
and then increase again at the end. Then chain one, turn. Now in the 17th round, we are going to start also by increasing. So increase, then six single crochets, one, two, three, four, five, six, then increase at the end. Then chain one and turn. Also in the 18th round, we are again going to start by increasing. So increase. Then eight single crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then increase at the end. Chain one and turn. So now for the next three rounds, which is from round 19 until round 21, we are going to do single crochets all the way in each round for a total of 12 stitches in each round. So continue doing single crochets all the way until we get to the 21st round and then we'll start the 22nd round together. Okay, so after the 21st round, this is how a little cat looks like. So we'll do a chain one and turn. So now in the 22nd round, we are going to start by decreasing. So we'll decrease and then do eight single crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then we'll decrease Sorry, this somewhere. So six, uh, seven, eight, and then we'll decrease. And then we'll do chain one and turn. So now in the 23rd round, we are going to do single crochets all the way. So we'll have a total of 10 stitches. So continue and do single crochets all the way to the end. Okay, so after we are done, we'll do chain one and turn. So now in the next round, which is the 24th round, is where we start doing that cat ear. And we'll start by doing four single crochets. So single crochet one, two, three, and four. Then when you get to the fourth stitch, we'll do chain one and turn. So now in the 25th round, we are going to decrease two times. So we'll decrease one time and then decrease again. Then we'll do chain one and turn. Now in the uh, 26th round, which is the last round, we are going to decrease one time. So we are going to decrease, do chain one and cut off the yarn. OK, 
Okay, so after we are done, we'll turn to this other side. And at the end here, we'll attach the yarn. Like that. And then I'll do a chain one. And then from the very uh, first stitch where we attach the yarn, we are going to do four single crochet so one two three and four and then do chain one and turn so we'll decrease two times so decrease and decrease again the second time We then do chain one and turn. So we'll decrease again one time. And then do chain one and cut off the yarn. So that's how our cat looks like. So it's turning out so pretty. So now we're remaining with one part, which is the tail. And for the tail, we'll come to the bottom here and we'll count uh, four chains. So one, two, three. And in the fourth chain here, we'll attach our yarn like that. So do chain one. And starting in the chain where we attached uh, the yarn, We'll do three single crochets. So one, two, and three. And then do chain one and turn. And then we'll continue in the second round. We'll continue doing three single crochets. Do chain one and turn. Okay, so continue until you have 10 rows. So these are two. So do other eight rows. Okay, so at the end of the 10th round, this is how the tail looks like. So we'll do a chain one and turn. So now in the 11th round, we're going to start by decreasing. And then we'll do single crochet. Then do chain one and turn. So now in the last round, we are going to decrease one time. Then we'll do chain one and cut off the yarn. Okay, so that is it. This is how it looks like. So when we are finishing off, we are going to cut off these parts. Okay, so now we are going to make two parts like this and then we are going to attach them together okay so make the other part the exact same way we made this one and then we attach together okay so guys as you can see uh, my two parts are complete so i'm attaching them together so as you can see first i had to attach uh, the eyes to the front part so that I sew them together and then I made this little bow tie which is uh, basically I did a chain 11 and then starting in the second chain from the hook I did 10 single crochets and made uh, four rows of 10 single crochets then when you're done you just tie the yarn a little yarn at the middle like that and then we attach it at the front so this is how it looks like. So I attached my eyes uh, from the top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Between the seventh and the eighth round. And then you count one, two, three, four, five stitches apart. And then you attach the other one. So now joining the two parts together is uh, you attach your yarn anywhere. So I attach my yarn at the top. And then I slip stitched all the way around 
so for those who don't know the slip stitch and you slip stitch from the back side as you can see so you just join the two parts and then pull the yarn like that it's quite a, a little bit tight or through so that's a slip stitch and you continue joining the two parts like that continue slip stitching all the way just like that as you can see we are forming uh, one stitch all the way around but also before we close off completely you can choose not to stuff but i'm going to stuff mine a little bit uh, to give it a little more volume and shape so just a little bit over here and at the top I think that's enough and then I'm going to continue slip stitching okay so continue slip stitching until we close the whole thing okay so guys as you can see i've slip stitched to the end so at the very end i'm just going to slip stitch one more time and cut off the yarn like that okay and then i'll do the finish off Okay, and then cut off the yarn completely. Okay, and that's, it. that's how our little cat looks like. So cute. So you can use it as a keychain or you can hang it as a car pendant or anywhere you'd like to use it. Okay, so guys, that's it for the video today. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and check out my other videos. Until next time, bye.